All right, welcome back. Um, last episode, if you stuck around till the end, we kind of mentioned how me upgrading my phone has turned almost into a meme on this, uh, on the channel. And I finally upgraded, so we posted a Twitter poll to see, we're gonna do the reveal in a minute, but we posted a poll to see what everyone thought. And it was fascinating because it's the one of the closest polls I think I've ever seen on Twitter, at least in terms of one with four options. We gave four options. The lowest is 23.5% and the highest is 27 and a half. That's crazy. With wow. 2,200 votes too. So like not just a couple votes, like that's close. So no one knows what phone you've picked. They don't, they don't. Okay. Um, but we, we put a little thought into this poll. Um, so the choices were the iPhone 13 got 23%. Pixel 6 got 28%, S22 Ultra, or we just put S22, um, got 25%, and S21 Ultra, 24%. So like, you know, Pixel I talk about all the time, I'm coming from a Pixel 4 XL, iPhone 13, I think I have constantly mentioned wanting to switch to iOS, but I hate how many icons are on the homepage, and that <laughs> yeah. still is a thing. Yep. Um, S22, I was really digging. Um, and then the S21 Ultra, we talked about how good of a deal it was. Yep. Um, much unlike this studio display. But um, we talked a lot about how going back a year flagship, it was still such a good phone. Um, and those choices, yeah, like we said, really close. 23%, 28%, 25%, 24%, all right on top of each other. So, and I got a lot of tags on, yeah. as to telling me why. A lot of people saw the Apple Watch we mentioned earlier. Right. This is for the fitnesses challenge. There is an iPhone 11 here, but this is just an But that's one. strictly so you can use the Apple Watch this for the fitness challenge. strictly so I can tell everybody that I'm winning the challenge. Okay, right so it's not the iPhone 13 then. It is not. Okay. Are you ready? I am ready. You know what it is already. I've seen it already, <laughs> but are they ready? There it is. Pixel 6. For our audio listeners, that is Regular a seafoam green. Yeah, I went sort sort of seafoam. Sort of seafoam Pixel sort of 6. Sea foam. Okay. So you've had this for a couple days now. It's shiny. About and you, a week. Yeah. You had a case on it. It I came. Was, yeah, I do. I, I, I'm a case person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it came the night after we recorded the last podcast, which is when I wanted to just talk about it, but this wound up being kind of fun. So I'm okay. glad. Um, so how have you enjoyed it so far? Because I, I also, I'll just mention this right now. I have been using the S21 Ultra since January of last year. It's been like a year and change. Mm -hmm. And I just, again, put my SIM card back in the Pixel 6 Pro. I'm using the March update. So far, so good. It still has a little bit of hiccups compared to the S21 Ultra. Okay. We'll see how long this lasts. But I'm curious how you're enjoying the Pixel Six we're experience. We're Pixel Brothers now. Yeah, same idea. Back, back same at it idea. again. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I went regular six, obviously a bit cheaper. Um, to be fair, biggest things I wanted were my Pixel 4 XL was just getting towards the end of its life. I think I had some screen damage, which was causing a bunch of accidental touches all the time. Mm -hmm. And I had things like just completely closing on me or like random buttons getting touched whenever. Um, so I just needed to make the upgrade just for this needing to upgrade from an old phone. Um, I think the two biggest things with me and why I picked it is I'm dying for an ultra wide camera. I feel like the activities that I do, like climbing and outdoors, ultra wide is so much more fun. Super useful. Um, and the Pixel 4 XL did not have that. Yeah. And then for me and my laziness, I think the ease of just going from pixel to pixel, same operating system, same feature set, all, like I was running Android 12 on my Pixel 4 XL already. Mm -hmm. It was the most seamless transition between the two of them. Um, that coupled along with a good trade-in uh, system. Did you get a better Pixel price does. than the S22 would have cost? Uh, it's the weird because the S20, I think if I had the, uh, like if you have a bunch of backup phones, Samsung lets you trade in two phones. Pixel only lets you trade in one, oh, wow. which is really awesome. I still, I just traded in one though and because of the the things I mentioned, that's why. Right. I think you probably, Sam's, Samsung seems to always be the best deal you can get. They're trying to get you on They're board. They're so good at, yeah. at trying, at like saving you money on all that. Um, but yeah, so a couple thoughts so far. Um, yeah, let's the, hear it. Did the, I get my review right? Did you get your <laughs> I review see if right? there's we loved We loved the Pixel 6. Yeah, I, gave I got it the my, regular one. One of my, it was it was basically our quote, budget phone of the year. Yeah. Maybe not, maybe not budget, but value phone of the year. Screen I dig, 90 hertz is fine. Yep. Um, Totally fine with that. Flat edges. I think it looks good. Um, I put it in a case. I have the D brand grip case because, like, 
I really like to Wait, toss show the my icons. phone around. Show the icons, icons on the back. Skin. It's there it is. All black, so it's probably really hard to see. But um, black on black was dbrand.com slash icons. Come on, icons, yep. something like that. Uh, I should really know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so while I really liked it, I love the ultra wide. I love how that's just basically everything that I had already. It doesn't. It feels like I barely switched, which I love. Nice. Um, I have two gripes so far. I want to guess what they are. Okay. Fingerprint reader. Yes. Slow and slightly inconsistent. More and, more just slow. So I can't compare it that way because I didn't have, I was using Face ID because right. the 4XL had Soli. Even though I disabled all the Soli stuff, Face ID would still work because mm-hmm. I, and I've said it on this, I hate Soli. I hated when my phone would wake up when my hand went near it. The amount of times <laughs> my phone would just wake up all the time and then I would look at it and then it would unlock mm-hmm. and ac- manage. It's so frustrating to accidentally swipe a song in your car when you're just like reaching into the passenger seat for something. I mean, like that's usually where my Taco Bell is. <laughs> I want to listen to my songs and just eat my Taco Bell. Stop. But anyways, this is my first in-display fingerprint reader. Mm. I really miss face unlock on my 4XL. Mm. I loved it. It felt really seamless. I know even with the masks, but like I'm usually only wearing the mask at like the grocery store and when I'm out at home, it felt really easy. Um, it does feel kind of slow because I'm only comparing it to my old like Pixel 3 back fingerprint reader. It's slow reader. compared to every Clear. phone. Okay. Yeah. Um, And just like when I'm working out and sweaty, if I'm climbing and I have chalk on my hands, if I'm outside and there's dirt, if I'm doing yard work and stuff like that, it's clearly going to affect yeah. that, which I don't nice. love. Um, So I don't like that that much. You're okay, right. that's one. That is one. That's one. And I even... um. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I was, when I was reviewing the iPad Air, I noticed I couldn't tell if it was me being spoiled or just really getting used to Face ID because on I, I've used the iPad Pro a lot. And with the iPad Pro, you tap the screen, it lights up, and then you swipe up and it just already looked at your face. Yeah. Well, with the iPad Air, it's got the fingerprint reader. And you can get really used to the fingerprint reader just like you'll get really used to this fingerprint reader. But there's just something about it just like looking at your face and it doesn't matter what's on your hands. Yep. So that's one thing. Okay, the other thing. You have I, two things? I got really into, sorry, just like pulling my phone up, power button, and then just unlocks. It's already open? Yep, yeah, uh, yeah. I love that. Um, okay, that's fair. Second thing is? Is it your, I don't think it's your battery yet. You haven't had it long enough, maybe. Uh, cameras are, is it, mm, is it the cameras being a little too processed hdr I I don't mind that. Okay. At all. I'm fine with that. Okay, you, what is your? You were kind of right. So I'm going to preemptively say it, it was battery, but I figured out why it was battery, and that problem has been fixed. Okay. So, okay, I like I mentioned before, I was at the wedding all weekend, so like not a lot of time to keep it on the charger, which I usually do. Um, and I came from a Pixel Four XL, which is not known for its battery life okay. at all. So anything should have been an upgrade. Yet I found myself over the weekend just being lower than I would like. I mean, mm. it, I feel like there's people who. Are, are like, this battery life is great. And when they go to bed and it's at 20%, like, hell yeah, I made it the whole day. Probably mm-hmm. It probably would have been that. But if it's under 50% for me, I'm like stressing usually. <laughs> like I oh, do not like it to be down that low. That's funny. Um, but I also noticed 5G was on the whole time, despite not feeling any benefits of that. Yeah. I turned 5G off and it's been way better since Next. then. So I just feel like that should be something you should do. Um, Unless you're somehow in a place where 5G is super beneficial, I would just turn that off. You know what's funny? I have this I have this new thing. Like I, when I test a phone, I, I daily drive it. And I, I always have this thing where I put on Waze and I navigate to work and have this like half mm-hmm. hour, 40 minute drive. And there's a spot right when I'm getting on the parkway where I always lose service. And it's become like a game of like how far down the highway will I get? before service comes back. Oh, really? So it'll be 5G and then I'll roll into over this hill and I always lose service right past this gas station. I'll go past the light and I'll get onto the highway. And with the Pixel 6, well, I had been using the S21 Ultra mm-hmm. and it would always indicate probably within about 300 yards, it would be back on LTE and then eventually it would find 5G again. This, the Pixel 6 Pro this morning, it dropped service like it usually does right where it's supposed to. And then it took like an extra like thousand yards to pick up LTE again right. and another like half a mile to pick 5G back up again. Uh-huh. And I just noticed, I don't know if that's a an indicator overall of the signal strength from the Pixel, but I feel like we did see signal strength complaints where like if you have low signal, it's going to hurt your battery. 
and the Pixel doesn't have a great like antenna. And mm. so if you turn 5G off and have it stop searching for 5G all the time, it'll probably help your battery a lot. Yeah, I think like like I said, there I mean and there's plenty of cases where if you're on 5G you're potentially getting worse speeds than LTE. Yeah, 5G is trying not to great. Pump, pump you off of the crowded LTE bands. What do you what carrier are you on? T-Mobile. T-Mobile. Is there 5G like anywhere that you go on T-Mobile? I feel like they're maybe one of the they have mid-band 5G They then... they were one of the first to do to like is it ultra wide? 5G. I'm completely blanking right the now. The blanket they, coverage yeah, or yeah, the yeah. millimeter? Yeah, the, the blanket. blanket like no, they do not do. I don't think they do millimeter. Yeah, we did the video about um, T-Mobile's mid-band 5G. Okay, They're like yeah. pretty well rolled out. Yeah, I think. I think they were one of the first to do it. So I and I was in a the wedding was in a town that was like pretty popular. So like okay. all wedding 5G and and like I notice it because it's not something that's shown on my phone before, so it's new to me. Right. And like I was always like, oh 5G, 5G, oh. 60 percent 50 percent it's like it's two o'clock in the afternoon like and you're not uh, using data good. or like downloading yeah, anything. it wasn't doing much yeah so yeah. It just i mean like listen i'm sure i'm 100 percent positive it would have lasted the full day with no charge yeah but it was stressing me out fair yeah fair it's so, funny it reminds me of my dad who's um who's old iphone have i told this already i got him a new phone he uh I'm he had sure. like an iphone 6s plus okay. or a 6s or something like that and uh, I think it was Thanksgiving. He showed me his phone like plummet from like 17 to 8% oh. battery in like three minutes. And I was like, Jesus Christ. The guy I'm an iPhone 13 Pro Max, he ends the day with like 98% battery now. <laughs> it's it's incredible. He doesn't have to do any work and it saves. You can probably go a week plus That's on a battery. Amazing. You should ask him to not charge it and see how long it takes. Yeah, and just keep running it down. But he probably get he doesn't get stressed at all. He's like 8% battery. Yeah, I'm good. Like I'll just keep running this phone down. That's awesome. That's I great. wish I had that. Um, <laughs> yeah. But super happy with it so far and nice. really excited to keep it around all right um pixel there we have it we're pixel brothers now that's it for now Forever. anyway we'll see how long that Forever. goes no more reviews yeah uh, we'll see team pixel <laughs> i'm just kidding hey thanks for watching that clip make sure you hit subscribe to be an early investor in our upcoming video platform oh. that's right you don't want to be uh stuck with the big bad youtube They've made their ecosystem, which is just YouTube.com, YouTube music, YouTube stuff. Yeah, we're nothing like YouTube. Ours is going to be way better. We're going to change the world. And just for comparison, we have the same exact technology that YouTube uses. So it's going to be, you know, playing back. It's going to be smooth. It's, it's just transparent. It's just transparent. That's it. Exactly. It's the so only difference. What you're going to want to do is hit that red button to invest um, stocks straight to the moon. I mean, that's the only thing we could see possibly happening here. You yeah. can't afford not to get in at this ground level opportunity. This is a series A uh, uh, investment. Yeah, and, and we'll announce our announcement soon, yeah. coming summer 2020 something. Um, and you should be pretty hyped about it. For sure. See you guys there.